Hi boys and girls, welcome to Penny's Reading Nook. I'm here in Spencer, West Virginia at the Patch Office and oh well, you know what? The sun was shining at my house this morning. Yes! And at building blocks yesterday at our class when we went outside, do you know what we saw? Any ideas? We saw little the daffodils starting to peep up out of the ground, out of our flower bed. And Miss Pam and the kids and I were so excited because you know what that means. Spring is right around the corner. So with spring being right around the corner, I thought I would read a springy book today. And I have a math activity that's going to go along with it. So I hope you enjoy it, okay? The name of our book today was called there was an old lady who swallowed a clover. We love the old lady books. This book was written by Lucille Colandro and illustrated by Jared Lee. So let's get started. Get the book to lay down there and be nice. <laughs> there was an old lady who swallowed a clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, eh, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a daisy. She wasn't lazy when she swallowed the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a butterfly. She did not sigh when she swallowed the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. It wasn't absurd when she swallowed that bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but eh, she didn't roll over. I don't know about you, but I believe I would have a bellyache after that. There was an old lady who swallowed a pot. Oh my goodness. Believe it or not, she swallowed that pot. Ew. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. Ooh, there was an old lady who swallowed some gold. It wasn't cold, all that shiny gold. Whew, we could all use some gold right now, huh? She swallowed the gold to fill up the pot. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but eh, she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a fiddle. Oh, it is a riddle why she swallowed a fiddle. Oh, I wish you would swallow a fiddle. The old lady started to dance and before she was done, a wee little leprechaun joined in the fun. As they twirled high and low, she giggled so much, out popped a rainbow. Look at that rainbow. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. You can see the rainbow and what's the, what is the, the legend, if you can find the end of the rainbow, we might capture the leprechaun's gold. Hmm, that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Yeah, 
All right, that was a cute book full of lots of bright colors on this nice springy day. And I happen to have a nicely, brightly covered game that we're going to play. It reminds me of springtime. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the cover page and show you where I downloaded this game. I got it online. I went, it's called funlearningforkids.com. And um, I signed up for the email, so if you can get someone in your family, get your mom or your dad, if you sign up for their email, she will send you lots of, send, um, lots of freebies, lots of ideas of different games and things that you can play, okay? And uh, like I said, we just, just had to print it off, and um, I believe it's a lot of fun. It's a nice little math game. And again, it was called funlearningforkids.com. And you can see there that it was a download. And it has the little, the name there again. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for just a second for the parents to see. All right. So, then you find the, the rainbow portion of it, okay? And it had two different things that you could download. The first one was the rainbow, and it has um, the numbers one through six. So, you're also going to need a set of dice to go with this game, okay? Now for the first one, you could just use just the one because it just focuses on the numbers one through six. The second one on the download was you're going to work on your addition skills. We're going to be adding, counting all of the dots together. So that for that one, you would need both of the dice, okay? And for today, I'm gonna concentrate on that one. We're gonna do some adding, okay? So let me get the other one out of the way. So I've got my dice. And then you're going to need something to cover the circles. Like once you find the number or the sum, um, we're going to cover that with something. So what I happen to have at Building Blocks, I use this for my pirate's treasure. Whoo, doesn't that look springy? Maybe that could be at the end of the rainbow in the leprechaun's pot of gold. And what these are, the little aquarium rocks that you can get. My rocks have never been put into an aquarium. Um, but uh, we like to play different games with those and use them for treasures and things. But you don't have to use those. You could use uh, buttons if you wanted to. You could, um, if you wanted to do it just one time, I'll show you this here. You could just color them in if you wanted to too, and you could just use it for one time. But what I like to do is I like to use these things over and over. So instead of laminating this one, you can get these page protectors, and you can get them at the store, and then you can just slide it in, and then you can reuse it over and over. And that's what I like to do, okay? Um, you could use buttons. One thing I thought might be a good idea, and then it kind of gives you some practice on your pinchers, you know, using those doo -doo 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 -doo, getting different colored sheets of paper, and you could tear off a little square and crumble it up and set it on top of a number. That would be an idea of a way to do it, wouldn't it? So you use whatever you want to use to cover it up, okay? So I've got all my pieces. I've got my rainbow. I've got my pieces that I'm going to use for cover up, and I have my set of dice, all right? So let's give it a roll. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, okay, I've got working on the sub subsidizing, remember my word, where we know that that's just four just by looking at it, right? But we need to add four plus four. So let's count our dots and see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know four plus four equals eight. Now we need to look somewhere on our rainbow and see if we can find the number eight. You guys help me out there look. Where's the number eight? Oh, right there's one. All right, I'm going to find, I'm gonna use a green one and I'm gonna cover my number eight. Okay, let's go again. Okay, so we know we've got a two and a three. So we know this is two, so let's just go ahead and start with the number two. Two, three, four, five. So two plus three equals five. All right, let's look around, see if we can find a five somewhere on our board. Where, oh, where's a five? Oh, right over here's a five. All right, so I would just cover up the number five. 
Okay, let's go a couple more times just for some counting practice. So now we're going to figure out what is 6 plus 3. So we know this is the number of 6, so we're not even going to count out 6. We know that 6 by looking at it. So 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, let's find a number 9 on the board. Do you see it? Can you tell me what colors it's laying on? Oh, you're right. Right there's one on the blue and the purple there, huh? So let's find a rock and cover that up. Okay. I think this will be kind of pretty once it's all filled up, huh? One more. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got six plus five. So, well, let's get our counting fingers out there. You ready? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, let's look on the rainbow for an eleven. Do you see it anywhere? Oh, uh, that's right, right there's the number 11. All right, let's get this one, we'll put that one right there. All right, let's go with one more boys and girls, okay? I think you get the idea of what we're doing. Okay, now we have four plus one. And let's count them out and see. One, two, three, four, five. So four plus one equals five. Okay, do you see a five there somewhere? Oh, you're right, right there's a number five. Good job, you guys are so smart. All right, and see boys and girls, it's just a real easy game. We're working on adding and subtracting. Um, and if you don't wanna do the adding and the subtracting, you can do just the one that's the numbers, one through six and just use one of them, okay? So, I said it's a super easy game, super fun game. I love math games. So I'm always on the hunt for math games. And let me put the page up one more time for your mom and dad to see where they can find this game. Okay, and it was again, funlearningforkids.com. And once you get there on that site, you will see she has all kind of freebies out there to make, um, learning fun, okay? So, I don't know about you, but I had a lot of fun with that activity, and I'm done. So I will say, take care, polar bear, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.